Is that your lunch, Marie? Yes. Today's lunch is hot pot. My name is Honda Kent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. And the beautiful girl who started cooking in the classroom during lunch break is Toyota Mari, my childhood friend. Hey, you know we're not allowed to use open flame stoves in the classroom, right? I'm the school chairman's granddaughter. I can get away with some misbehavior. Besides, this is an electric stove, so it's not a problem. That's not the issue, Mari. Kent, would you like some? <sighs> Fine. Let me have a taste. Mari is a natural airhead. Her actions are a bit unpredictable. So at the request of Mari's parents and in exchange for full financial support, I ended up going to the same private high school to look after her. That's why a commoner like me can attend a prestigious private school. Mmm, it's delicious. Today's lunch break is all about hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> There's no choice but to laugh. Mari has always been like this. Since we met thanks to the close friendship of our fathers, we have maintained a relationship that could be considered as more than friends, but less than lovers. An extremely abstract and ambiguous childhood friend relationship. Or so it was supposed to be. But an event that would completely change our relationship occurred one day on the way to school. Toyota is riding her bike on top of a wall? Huh. It's probably a shortcut. Oh no! A cat is sleeping on the wall! Well... It seems like someone needs my help. Cat. Toyota fell! She sacrificed herself to save the cat! Leave it to me! I'll catch her! <laughs> Ugh! Kent fell and hit his head on the wall! I shall call an ambulance. Here are the test results. The CT scan shows no external injuries and no abnormalities in the head. There is nothing else we can do for you here. Doctor! Your bangs! Not too long? Not too long. There's nothing else we can do for you here. Not too long? There's nothing they can do, and Kent doesn't have much time left. Kent. Hey, I was sent to the hospital first thing in the morning, but I finally made it to school during lunch break. Kent, take this. What's this? It's a romance novel featuring a heroine with a limited lifespan. Kent, please tell me the six things you want to do before you die. Once again, Marie? You come up with the most unusual things. I want you to spend the rest of your life without regrets, Kent. I don't really get it, but it seems interesting. So, the first thing I want to do is to see you smile. Mm. What's wrong? Was it an impossible request? Mm -mm. Oh! Mm. Your lips are twitching! She's trying to smile! Mm. Keep it up, Marie! You can do it! <sighs> I reject that request. It's too unrealistic. Your expression just now was incredibly cute, so I'll forgive you. I don't really know what you mean by that, but I guess it's okay. What's the second thing you want to do? The six things I want to do before I die, huh? Let me think. Hurry. I want to finish that extremely spicy cup ramen that defeated me a while ago. I had our butler prepare that extremely spicy cup ramen for you. That butler really does everything for you despite his busy schedule. I was defeated by you once before, but not this time. This time, I'll defeat you. Here I go! <laughs> it's not just spicy, it's painful now. The sensation is not meant for humans. My tongue hurts, my throat is burning, my eyes are on fire and my nose is so irritated. My brain is whispering to give up. Will I lose to the extreme spiciness again? Come on, you can do this. Do your best, Kent. You got this, Kent. Mari, to fulfill my dream. She dressed like that just to support me. This is all for Kent. He doesn't have much time left. I won't lose. Not this time. I will make my dream come true. Go, go, Kent. Don't give up, Kent. K-E-N-T. You could do it, Kent. <sighs> I finished this. Congratulations. Even though it was a silly dream, it all came true thanks to your support. I'm glad you're pleased. I was a bit embarrassed dressing like that to cheer you on. You didn't seem so embarrassed. So, please tell me the third thing you want to do before you die. Well... Hurry. Can I ask you for something a little more difficult? I can fulfill even the most unreasonable requests with all my family's power and wealth. Okay, then it's decided. I've always wanted to try it. A squid game with everyone at our school. As 
as lunch break ended, an announcement came over the school speakers. Today, afternoon classes are cancelled and all students will participate in a squid game. The squid game is a game where you shoot ink with water guns like squids spewing ink. Water guns will be distributed to all students. The water guns are filled with either blue or orange ink. The team that covers a wider area with their ink than the opposing team within the time limit wins. I'm on the orange team. How about you, Marie? I'm on the orange team too. We can fight together! Yes, let's win, no matter what dirty tricks we have to use. Mari sometimes says scary things. In the final stages of the squid game, Mari fought valiantly, but we found ourselves isolated within the enemy's ranks. To win in this situation, I'll be the decoy, Mari. You break through their encirclement. I refuse. I want to win this game with you, Kent. Mari. So, let's quickly finish them off. Mari has always been eccentric. But she's a top-tier, exceptionally pretty girl who excels in both academics and sports. Uh... Are you out of ink? Affirmative. What about you, Kent? Me too. The ink refill station was captured by the blue team. Wow. We got taken down, huh? My underwear is soaked as well. Hey, Mari, are you not enjoying this? What about you, Kent? It's super fun. I want to do it again. Then? I'm having fun too. I want Ken, who doesn't have much time left, to have a slightly enjoyable remaining life. So I asked an old man with rich life experience. Sir, what are the things a boy wants to do before he dies? It starts with S and ends with X. If the old man says it, it must be correct. Kent must want to do something starting with S. I'm prepared to give birth to Kent's child. Mari, did you say something? It's nothing. Please tell me the fourth thing you want to do before you die, Kent. It's okay, but will you fulfill it again? Yes, I'll fulfill any request. For example, something starting with S. Something starting with S? My impure heart can only think of something starting with S. Yes, it starts with S. It's something that many boys want. It's confirmed. The wish that starts with S is what boys undergoing puberty who struggle with romance dream about. Really? Can I seriously make an S starting wish? It's fine. I'm prepared to bear children. I don't really understand. But if you say so, I'll take your word for it. You know what? I want to try a school uniform date starting with S. For Kent, I've prepared an active idol, a cute cosplayer, and a slightly risque 24-year-old single home female tutor. Please choose the girl you'd like to have a uniform date with. Then, I choose you, Mari. Huh? I want to go on a uniform date with Mari. Are you serious? Yeah, you can grant any wish, right? Hmm, understood. Today, I'll be your girlfriend. Hey, you're in a good mood today. I'm just doing my best to fulfill your dreams. Since we've become a couple, how about a date after school? If you wish, we can even go to the other side of the earth. Leave the date plan to me. I have a dream date I wanted to go on before I kick the bucket. What is it? Plain and simple. A private amusement park date. On that day, the amusement park near our school was rented out. It was a place full of nostalgic memories where Mari and I had been together many times. <laughs> this is so much fun! We used to write these when we were in elementary school, didn't we? Mari, spin it even faster! I won't take responsibility if you regret it. Woohoo! Come on, Mari! I'll take a picture with my phone, so give me a smile. I'm not good at smiling. Hey, Mari? What is it? Is this date boring? No, not at all. I'm having a great time, ranking it among the top three enjoyable moments of my life. I'm relieved then. I can never tell what you're thinking from your expressions, Mari. I've had trouble expressing my emotions since I was a child. That's why I hardly had any friends. Mari, you have me. Yes, thanks to you. I've never felt lonely. And I'll make sure you won't be lonely in the future. I'm just an ordinary commoner, and Mari is an heiress. We've always had this vague sense of social disparity since childhood. We both intuitively feel the mutual affection we have for each other, but we also know that our love would probably never come to fruition. Mari? Yes? I, I was going to say something, but I forgot. What a coincidence. I was about to say something too. So, Kent, 
You've completed your fourth wish, the uniform date. The fourth wish? Renting the amusement park and having a blast with you? Is done too. Now, please tell me your sixth wish, the final one. Make a wish you won't regret. Oh, fireworks. Did the amusement park provide these as a service? Mari, it's my last wish. Are you really willing to do anything I want? If it's your wish, I'll do anything. Anything? For example, something that starts with S and ends with X? I may not be very experienced, so I might not do it well. But if it's what you wish for, I'll gladly do it. I want Mari to give me a stretching kiss. Mm. Uh, sorry! I, I guess wishes like that are a no-go. My, my bad! <laughs> Mari? What's that? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you amuse me, but I love the Kent who's like that for a long time. I feel the same. However, the first wish came through, didn't it? <laughs> it's more unrealistic to ask me not to laugh. After all, you made such wonderful wishes, Kent. Mari? I love you. I love you too. Happy moments may not last long. Ken, who has only a short time left due to a head injury from an accident. That's why it's only natural for me to be Ken's girlfriend and make him happy. Hmm? Ken, who should have only a short time left, seems to be doing pretty well, doesn't he? Hey, Mari. Well, I'm okay since I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching again. It would make me so happy if we could watch another rom-com story together. Also, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you next time. Bye!